Here is a short introduction to IFS. IFS works with a series of rules and steps. In the first instance, a rule is chosen at random. A number is picked between 1 and 100, and 98% of the time, rule 1 will be executed. 2% of the time, rule 2 would be executed. Whichever rule is chosen, every step in the sequence is executed. In the case of rule 1, there is only one step. This step causes the image to move forward 0 pixels in the x-axis, move 10 pixels in the y-axis, rotate 3 degrees, which gives it this left lean that you can see here, and scale it by 90%, which causes it to reduce in size as you can see. There is also the option of changing the transparency or alpha on these images as well. If rule 2 is chosen on the other hand, which happens 2% of the time, which as you can see from here happened at this point, there are three steps. Again, we are moving by 0 and 10 on the x and y axes, and we are still scaling by 99%. However, this time we move at 99 degrees to the direction of travel. Step 2 moves at minus 90 degrees, and step 3 moves at 180, which gives it this pattern you can see here. When a step is finished, the whole process repeats again. That is, it goes back to the very start where a percentage is chosen from 1 to 100 and a rule is selected based on that percentage. So in this case you can see that all three legs continue to grow. This gives it a fairly organic look. If I switch back to rule 1 you can see what happens if I try changing the image. I could change that image on a whole for rule 2 if I so wished. You can just see the very dark spots appear in there. Similarly I can increase the alpha as we did before or decrease the alpha I should probably say, change the scale. What happens is that because these are random images a seed is stored so that you can change the parameters and still have the same basic fractal each time. If you hit refresh or space or click in the main area like this it will reset that seed and allow you to compute a different image. One thing you will notice, this was built originally for iPad and as a touch screen these parameters would force you to scroll along, move outside of the area and move back again. If there's enough interest in the project I will rework the interface for a PC based product. So as you can see all the parameters will have an effect, some greater than others, as always you can add steps which allow you to do many freaky and weird things. There is no rule book, as far as I know, on how to make the best looking IFS images. It is quite literally an experimentation, which is how I came up with the very first one that you saw here. I think that's everything. There's a couple of cheat shortcuts, uh, which if you press A, for example, you can see images being generated in real time like that. Press A to go into the animate mode, press A to come out of it and the numbers 1 to 5 for example will change the colour quite like so. As you can probably tell all the graphics are coder art. Uh, again the iP original iPad project did have some professional art but I didn't really feel comfortable using that given the end of that project. Uh, so I'm releasing this just because I can release this and otherwise it sits on my hard drive doing nothing. So hope it's useful, hope it's fun and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.